Prevention of cross-contamination in pharmaceuticals. Cross-contamination should be avoided by taking appropriate technical or organizational measures. Measures to prevent cross-contamination and their effectiveness should be checked periodically. Premises, equipment and people are main sources of contamination in pharmaceuticals. 1. Premises. Entry of unauthorized persons should be prevented in the area of production, packing and QC. Persons who do not work in these areas should not use them as the passageway. To minimize the risk of medical hazard due to cross-contamination, dedicated and self-contained facilities should be available for particular medicinal products like beta-lactam products, antibiotics, hormones, cytotoxic, drugs manufactured from live microorganisms. Separate area for dispensing of actives and excipients should be there. Adequate in-process storage area should available to minimize the risk of mix-up between different products or their components. Orderly placing and logical positioning of equipment and materials should be maintained. Manufacturing of sterile products should be done in aseptic areas. Entry of materials should take place through separate airlocks. Interior surfaces like walls, floors, ceiling should be smooth, free from cracks and open joints. Area should not shed particulate matter and should permit easy and effective cleaning. Pipework, ventilation and light points, and other services should be designed to avoid the creation of recesses that are difficult to clean. Adopt closed system during manufacturing and identify packing line with batch number. Appropriately designed airlocks, pressure differentials air supply, and extraction system should be provided. Accessories should be either dedicated or disposable type. Weighing of materials should be done one at a time under reverse laminar airflow units. Periodic environmental monitoring of areas should be done where susceptible products are processed. Materials issued for beta-lactam products, antibiotics, hormones, cytotoxic, drugs manufactured from live microorganisms should not go back to stores or other manufacturing areas. 2. Equipment. Install in such a way that any risk of contamination is prevented. Equipment should have smooth surfaces free from pitting. Contact surfaces should be inert and should not be additive or absorptive and easy to clean. Vacuum cleaners should be fitted with appropriate dust retaining filters and should easy to clean. Filter bags should be disposed off separately with appropriate suitable techniques. When two or more similar machines are available in the area for some purpose then, Maintain separate usage log. Pipelines should be labeled to indicate the correct direction of flow. Use dedicated equipment that is difficult to clean like finger bags, suspension hose, hose pipes. Water distribution pipelines should have sanitary couplings, the slope for drainage, positive pressure at the point of use to avoid suck back of air. Equipment should be kept in good condition and records of maintenance should be kept. Clean production equipment thoroughly on a scheduled basis as per SOP and wrap with fresh polythene bags until use. Cleaning equipment or cleaning aids that shed particles, raise dust, or generate contamination should not be used. Use of bristles, brushes, fiber, shedding clothes should be avoided. The sequence of washing, cleaning, and drying operations should be designed so as to prevent cross-contamination. Remove defective equipment and label it. Defective equipment not to be used. Clean common equipment according to validated cleaning procedures during the production of different products. Maintain a dedicated trolley in each department, production site. Clean the trolley and its wheels before taking it from one area to another. Systems with microprocessors-based applications have valves and actuation devices. These should be programmed, challenged, and validated to eliminate exposure of one product with another or foreign materials through control failures. Validate these equipment to ensure that they function properly. Equipment seals on rotating shafts like agitators, pumps, and compressors should not come in contact with products. If unavoidable then seal lubricant should be of food grade. 3. People. All personnel, prior to and during employment as appropriate, should undergo a health examination. A high-level personal hygiene should be observed. All personnel should be aware of the principle of GMP that affect them. An initial and continuing training, including hygiene instructions should be provided to all employees.
Direct contact should be avoided between the operator's hands and starting materials, primary packaging materials, and intermediate or bulk product. Personnel should wear clean body coverings, appropriate to the duties they perform. It should apply to all persons entering production areas, whether they are temporary or full-time employees or non-employees. Contamination risks from people can be reduced by training, understanding the principle of GMP, appreciate requirements for cleanliness, hygiene and control of entry. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thanks for watching this video. Watch more videos as we have created a lot of videos for pharmaceuticals.